from looking like this to this to look like this. If we zoom in, we can see the detail and the textures. To change how the elevation looks, go to the view map, then just go down to your elevations, right click and go to elevation settings. In here, we're going to be able to tweak a lot of the different ways that the model appears. This is how it's typically set up. This is for black and white. Now for colored, go to elevation settings. These are the settings that I'm using. Cut fill, not shaded. Surface, color fill, shaded. And the secret source on this one to make it look just a little bit better is putting shadows on it. So I've hit shadow. To see what it looks like without it, let's just go okay. So as you can see, it gives it a bit more depth. Let's turn that back on, click that one on. Now on the final option, we can actually have it so that the elevation shows the surfaces. If we zoom in, we can see the detail and the textures. We've got wood, we've got the brickwork, as well as timber. Compared to just the regular, which is just going to show us the colors. To get the surfaces to show up, again, right click, elevation settings. This time we're going surface color fill shaded, surface texture fill shaded. And again, we're putting on shadows, just for that little extra depth. But if you'd like to learn how to take your model into twin motion, you can check out this video over here.